science teachers, if you're looking for new ways to engage your students and save some time, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through five powerful ways that quizzes can transform your science classroom. I'm going to show you how you can create standards aligned content in seconds. I'm going to show you our brand new FET partnership. I will also demonstrate how we have this AI that can auto grade your open ended questions for you. I'm going to show you all the different creative ways you can use our question types. And I'm going to show you how you can leverage the popular science YouTube channels that you love that are now on quizzes. And so I put together some of my favorite clips to highlight these features. Let's jump on in. So we know with science teachers that standards are ever changing and we have to keep up with them and make sure everything is aligned to standards. Check this out, look how easy this is. So in quizzes, you can go to generate AI when you're making an assessment, text and prompt and watch. So right now mine's grayed out, but I'll change it to science. And look, you can literally choose your standards and it'll make an assessment based on that. It's wild, watch. So science, uh, NGSS, and I'll choose seventh grade, which is what I taught has all the standards there and I can filter them if I want to make it easier. And let's just pick a couple. So I'm gonna pick uh, these three. Watch how fast this is. It's going to continue. I could have had a couple other options. I could have chosen you know, a number of questions and things like that. But it's gonna read those three standards and just like that, it's going to generate an assessment for me directly aligned to those standards. Amazing. This is the magic that's now on quizzes. You have FET simulations, blended with quizzes. So let me show you what that means. It means that students still have a completely interactive FET simulation that they can explore. But alongside of it are questions that you as a teacher can check their understanding of the simulation. So along the way, you can ask them the most important questions that go along with the simulation and you get the magic of all the different quizzes question types. So what we've done is we made it really, really easy for you to access all these. So go to quizzes, search for FET, and what you're gonna see is 50 plus activities, all with the websites embedded, all with questions that go along with them that you can assign to your students tomorrow. They're incredibly easy to modify in case you wanna tweak it to make it your own. And if you wanna build your own from scratch, it's literally as simple as copying the FET website and pasting it into quizzes and watch this. Ta-da! And then you can make all your own questions. Isn't that incredible? I know for myself as a teacher, I always had open-ended questions and I did not love grading them and you might be in the same boat as me. So look what you can do now. I'll just put this GIF on here so you can kind of see it. If you have an open-ended question, what you can do is you can have AI basically determine what the right answer is. So it'll kind of pick it and then you can choose it and modify it and then it'll grade the stuff for you. And I know what you're probably thinking, the same thing you always think with AI is like, you know, is it accurate? And it does a really good job, but you as a teacher still have the final say. So I would even view this as like the AI system to help you start the grading and then you can accept it or change it, but it is such a time saver. So we're gonna start off here. I put a couple of the hotspot questions together and labeling questions so you can just really see how you can use images for science class. So this was a teacher who was using our hotspot question to pick all the different producers in a uh, food web. Along with simply like pointing you know, at animals and producers, the hotspot is also really great for any of our physics teachers or chemistry teachers who are identifying graphs or any other kind of like mathematical kind of things like that. And the next couple questions that I'm gonna show you are teachers who've been using our new labeling question type. So this is, I mean, it's really, really easy to see how labeling would go with science. Take anything, a cell like this person did here. You could also use it for something like this, right? The water cycle. And I thought this was a creative use of the labeling too, because it wasn't just like, hey, label the mitochondria. It was like, hey, which order would things go in in order for like a density kind of experiment? So I think that was a really creative way to use the labeling. Besides the label and the hotspot, there's also this reorder question, which you can see is another great way to use our visuals. So this person here was saying, hey, put the frog cycle in order. And this person used reorder, not like just for pictures in a cycle, but it was obviously for chemistry in the periodic table and they're saying to put things in order for protons. So anything that's mathematical works really, really well with our reorder questions. So we also have interactive videos on quizzes and that is great for all subjects, but I'm gonna show you a couple things about it that are really great for science. So first, if you've never seen it before, take a look. It's a video that you can pop into quizzes and questions pop up at the right spot and ask your kids exactly what you wanna ask them. And so here are the two things I wanna show you for science is that one, when we, if you go to your interactive video and you search for them, there are all these really, really popular channels that are great for science. So what that means is you can use the videos you're probably already showing in class anyway, Khan Academy, Crash Course, there are some other really great ones down here, perfect for science, and they're all right there and there, so they're built right into the Quizzes platform, so you can just snag them, add questions to them, and a lot of them already have questions attached to them, so they're a 
whole library waiting for you right now on quizzes already made. And there you have it. Those are the top five features that science teachers really love in quizzes. So again, go down to the description of this video, check on some of those links, really poke around. And I hope this is amazing for you and can really increase engagement in your classroom.